Hi, my name is Fiona Graham. I'm a cinematographer and colorist based in Dublin, Ireland. And today I'm going to take you through how I use Color Lab AI and Look Designer 2.0. Okay, so today I'm going to be using a number of shots from a music video I shot for a band in Scotland called Sewer. Now the first thing I do when starting a project is I do a number of test shots and then I bring them into DaVinci and use Look Designer to design a lot for me to monitor the colour on set. So the first thing you do with this is you select the camera that it was shot on. Then you can select the contrast curves you want, what kind of camera stock, what kind of print stock. And I think the Agfa one looks particularly good here, but it can be very tricky with exposure. As you can see, we're having some sort of clipping here. So we use our scopes and just bring that down a little bit. Okay. Now the great thing about Look Designer is that you can use your CMY to change the look of the film stock. So in this one, I'm going to add in too much, a little bit of yellow. Right there. To give us this look. So what I do here is I would grab a still of this. So I can bring that into Canva and create um, a lookbook for the director or whoever else needs to see it. And then I'd export it as a 33 LUT for monitoring on set. So I'd load that into my Shogun Inferno or if the camera had an option to load lots into it, that's where you'd, you'd load them in. And then the 65 is for using in post. Once you've shot your project and it's been edited and the timeline is in DaVinci ready for colour, what I do there is I switch over to Color Lab. Now, there's two ways to import your project into Color Lab. There's to import your timeline directly from Resolve. So if you click that button, it pulls your timeline from Resolve and just loads it all here. The second way to do it is to hit Media Import. And then you can select your clips and it loads them in and it uh, reads what camera profile it was and all the rest. Okay, so once you've created your lot in DaVinci, there are two ways you can bring it into Color Lab. The first is to click on File and Import Lots. And the second way to do it is down here in, in the show look window where you click import lots as show looks. So this window will pop up and then you select select lots. You choose the one that you want to bring in, hit open. And then what you need to do is tell the program what camera the lot is designed for and what color space its output is. You can then choose an image to represent it, but you don't have to do that. And then you hit import. Now, once the LUT is imported, it'll come up in show looks. So then you select the image you want to apply it to click on it and it'll apply the lot to the image. Then what you need to do is set that as your reference and then you can go 
and then go to your match settings and hit match scene. And there you have it, your timeline is matched. So if you need to do any tweaks, you can do them in the scopes here. I'm just going to pull down a little bit. And then rematch them. So once all these shots are matched, there are two things you can do. You can either export all the files individually, or you can bring them back into DaVinci. There is a direct link between DaVinci and this program, so you import your timeline through this button and you can export it directly into DaVinci with this button here. Otherwise, you can render out a single shot, render a scene, or render out all the clips and that'll render out each individual clip. You can choose which codec you want, the resolution, and the color space that you're exporting it to. And that's how I use Color Lab and Look Designer 2.0 to streamline my workflow.